this is 27 It doesn't matter what I've been through I should go out too But I still act like I'm a Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I am in Milan. I'm so excited. It is my husband's birthday and I booked a trip to Milan for his birthday as a surprise. He didn't know we were coming here. He's wanted to see the San Siro Stadium before it's destroyed. So I booked that and we're here and it's it's going to be fab. We're going to go and see the stadium tour, but we're also going to fit in a little bit of luxury shopping. So I'll take you along and show you as much as possible. You can just see my trusty Neverfill poking out there in the background because that has to travel everywhere I go. So we're off now to try and find what we are promised is the best pizza in Milan. And then we are doing the San Siro tomorrow. We'll do some of the city, we'll go shopping and I'll take you around and show you as much as I can and all the good stuff. And hopefully there's loads of good eye candy. There's some bags that are totally on my mind and I would love to be able to see in person. So that's exciting and yeah, fingers crossed. Being our first time in Milan, the Jumo had to be our first stop and it did not disappoint. It's an absolutely stunning building. Walking up to this was absolutely breathtaking. We have both seen this in so many photographs on camera but it's just nothing like it is in real life it's absolutely striking it's set in this main square which is very touristy and we did go and enjoy it we went into the galleria which is set just off the square this is the galleria that you would see in a lot of fashion influencer photographs the ceiling as you can see the dome is absolutely stunning the building itself is absolutely striking it's like no shopping center i can imagine it's very very beautiful and i could see why it's so heavily photographed the floor in here is absolutely it's just breathtaking it's something different it's something very spectacular to see the stores around it there's dior prada gucci louis vuitton there's some very high scale restaurants there's some beautiful ice cream places just very high scale lovely stores the dior looked amazing from the outside we did have a look at those i couldn't walk past them without looking into the window i then went over and had a look also in the louis vuitton store which is right across from the dior these i do think are a bit smaller than the main shopping area but it's certainly worth coming to see these stores because the setting in the galleria is just so stunning it's breathtaking we then did go to the main shopping district and went to gucci i'm obsessed with this little bamboo bag and this jacket but this little bamboo bag has really really got me i know dale has this in the green when i went to gucci i was pretty certain i was going to buy this in the orange color that i'm trying on here i did try it when i was in paris didn't buy it kind of regret that because the color is so striking but i tried on the green at my husband's insistence he fell in love with this green which is the same color as dale's bag and it is beautiful and i I would have thought the orange was the one that I wanted to take home but I got completely confused because the green I thought was stunning and I probably came down in favour of the green over the orange which quite surprised me. They also did have this in a beautiful bright blue colour and this very special monogrammed with the glitter through it and I thought these bags were really really stunning. I did leave Gucci thinking I would come back to get one of these bags, probably the green, although the orange was still on my mind. We then headed to Dior. There was a bit of a wait outside Dior, but it was worth it. This store was stunning. The bags were stunning. The service was fabulous. I had such a good time in Dior. I had went to Milan specifically on my wish list was the mini Lady Dior wicker bag in the pink colour. Unfortunately, I found out in Milan that is resort only and it wasn't in any of the stores, but this did not disappoint. They had so many of the special Lady Dior bags. They had this new bag that has been released by Dior. You can see on the screen, they had the Mumbai collection. They did have the mini wicker in the navy. I was trying to imagine what it was like in the pink, but my husband hated this bag. Regardless of the colour, absolutely hated it. I did try on the Delight in the mini version, which is another bag I was very interested in. This is stunning. This bag is absolutely spectacular. This is the fabric, the thick fabric version in the mini size. I absolutely loved it. Taken with both of these bags, the mini Delight and the wicker version. Although if it was the wicker, I did want it in the pink. We did see the larger size in the pink, but I was really taken with the mini and I was trying to block out my husband's voice who was very forcibly telling me this bag was awful in his mind. He just couldn't get over that it looked like a picnic bag. But that's his opinion. We don't worry about him. They had so many stunning mini Lady Dior's in the sequenced versions and in the special limited editions. This bag is stunning. It was just breathtaking they had this pink version in the background look at the bags on that table i just i loved these anything that was 
sparkly and shiny and the versions they had they had silvers they had pinks they had the blacks you can see the pink sitting on the table here beside the black and then the mini d light and the wicker and my chanel mini there was just so much in dior to see and i had a great time looking at these bags i also love the mini saddle they have the pink and the purple as you can see and the stairwell in dior was striking these screens on the background which were playing the runway shows coming down this arch stairway to this display at the bottom I thought was absolutely beautiful I really thought it was something quite special upstairs they had more bags to see and we did spend some time sitting out on the Dior balcony which has the famous Dior print on the seating we just sat there had a drink had some time it was lovely it was a really lovely moment to take in in the madness of the city and the busyness then back to the shoes the Mumbai collection I can't get past these colors they're absolutely stunning laid out like this absolutely beautiful all of the clothing the greens the purples the pinks the yellows if money were no object i would have left dior with half of the dior, the dior mumbai collection the bags the shoes the clothes all of it i thought this was stunning i loved the wicker animals they had the tigers and the elephants i thought it was just beautiful back down this very striking staircase i just had to take a moment to gain and appreciate this because i thought the way it's laid out was really just quite special and it was a very very fun fabulous successful afternoon in dior off to hermes i did go into hermes i did put my brave pants on and ask if they had a Constance, they did have a couple of display versions that I was able to see, but they didn't have any to sell. So spoiler alert, no Constance came home and of course no quota bags. Chanel, this was the yellow bag that I wanted to see and I did have a quick look in the windows of Chanel, but there was a huge queue and I wasn't making my husband stand in that on the limited time we had in Milan. We then headed around to Louis Vuitton where the service as usual was fabulous. We had a great time in Louis Vuitton. We did look at the ready to wear, the clothing, the bags. I tried on this petite mal, but I thought it was very like the rose gold Chanel that I'm wearing in the video. I thought too similar for the cost of the petite mal and that I do have a few petite mals, although I do think it's beautiful. I also tried on the Speedy in the Monoglam collection. I hadn't seen the Speedy version before. I did like this, although I don't think I liked it enough to pull the trigger, although I thought the Speedy probably was calling to me slightly more than the Petite Mal, maybe because I liked the darker blue. They also had the side trunk. They had some, I loved this orange, absolutely loved this orange Alma. I'm not normally a fan of the Alma shape, but the color and the epi leather, I just thought was fabulous. This by the pool cap, you scenes, oh my. I thought this, this bag was spectacular with the blue notes on the strap, the blue on the hardware, the white, it was beautiful. There was another Capucines that I tried in the dark green that was actually my husband's favourite. I tried to convince him to buy these little dog handling bags that we could carry our four Shih Tzus about. Of course, we would need four. And needless to say, he was not up for that plan. Regardless of how much we showed him that the little flap rolled up and they could see out, he was not having that. This was his favourite bag, probably the green Capucines. He loved this. He liked this more than the white by the pool. I was quite torn. I probably liked the white by the pool more, but both beautiful. We then took a look at the trunk. Oh my goodness. This was like a coffee table square type trunk with the drawers all pulled out. The service was amazing. They showed us how this worked, everything you could put into it. This one is particularly for sunglasses. If again money, if the lottery win comes, there's be trunks all around the house. Then took a look at the trunk display with some of the smaller trunks, one of the ones that I got for my 40th birthday. I just love looking at these. I love the trunk range in Louis Vuitton. Back to the by the pool, back again to see the Capucines because they were just stunning. And then looking at the other pieces in the store. This is the flagship store in Milan. I love these egg chairs. This would be on my list if a lottery win came. I just think they're very stunning. They then had this display of the three briefcase type trunks again very very beautiful over to the ready wear ready to wear sorry to take a look on some of the shoes i tried on a number of the pair of the shoes i was looking at the wedges again that i had saw in dublin but they didn't have my size i really loved these birkenstock type shoes i also really liked a number of the pairs of sandals that they had in store and it was at this point my husband was reminding me that we had to get this stuff home and whatever i was buying i had to remember that it had to fit into suitcases 
But this was a fabulous store. The service was great. Atmosphere was great. Had a really, really good time. And there was an awful lot of pieces that I would have lovingly brought home to me with me to live in our house. I think a big part for me of what makes or breaks a luxury shopping experience is how the staff are and the atmosphere in the store. And I have to say in Louis Vuitton, they were fabulous, very welcoming. I didn't make an appointment because I didn't know what time we'd be there, but I had a fabulous, fabulous time. We then stumbled upon this vintage car show that was just driving around the streets of Milan. It felt very Milanese. It felt very walking into a movie theatre. My husband loved it. He loved all of these cars that were going past us and we stood and watched this as it was going past before we went out for dinner. It was just something lovely to see. We then went for dinner for his birthday in one of the restaurants in the Galleria. It was absolutely stunning. The food was stunning. The wine was stunning. The meat was carved at the table. It was a beautiful, beautiful experience. It was very expensive and I fully accept that probably more so simply because you were eating in the Galleria, but because it was for his birthday and we had booked something special, we didn't mind that. And it was very much an event. It felt like an occasion just being in the Galleria, eating, celebrating his birthday. It was a lovely, lovely evening. And then, of course, we walked back through the gallery, looked in the stores again, got more ice cream and enjoyed ourselves. It is our last night in Milan. We have walked what I'm going to estimate is about a million steps. We've done so much walking, but it's such a beautiful city. There's so much to see and walking about it, I think, was the best way. We did a tour today called the Secret Food Tour. If anybody's going to visit a city, I really, really recommend them. It was, and I'm pretty fussy eater, but there was enough that I didn't have to go to McDonald's after. But it takes you around the city, lets you sample traditional Italian cuisine. You do some Milanese and then some of the cuisine that is in Milan from other areas. There's a guide with you. They're talking as you go, telling you about the city, telling you about the food. It was really, really good. I really highly recommend it. That was recommended to me by a friend and I really recommend it for anybody going either to Milan or they're in cities across the world. So that was fab. We're going to go out for dinner now on our last night and then tomorrow. We've been to the Jumo quite a few times, but we're doing a tour of it tomorrow and going up to the rooftop. We have done a little bit of damage. If I just turn this down here. Yep. Have done a little bit of damage, uh, probably more than I expected to do. So there may be some things having to leave my collection, but it's it's been really good. And I have to say the service in the stores and the staff was really friendly. There was, I'd had a few horror stories saying, not so friendly, not great if you're taking pictures or whatever, but I found it really good experience so far. But that's where we're at and I will keep you posted if there's anything worthwhile tomorrow and I'll have to get those unboxings done and I need to go back and look at my bag closet and sort out my life. Before going to the airport we did the rooftop tour of the Jumo and I highly recommend if anyone is on a trip to book the fast track VIP you go straight up to the rooftop down into the cathedral you skip the lines you get to see it from the top look over the square absolutely worth it especially if you're short for time so we're back from milan milan was very successful fabulous trip so there may already have been a vlog sale by the time you see this i will have to get around to the unboxings there is a very very special bag to show you i think this might be the most beautiful bag i've ever seen and i don't say that lightly it's absolutely stunning so i'll have to get on those unboxings but i hope you enjoyed the shopping vlog i hope you enjoyed seeing milan with us thank you so much for coming along thank you for being here thank you for watching me if you have enjoyed this in any way please do consider giving it a thumbs up please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you want to stick around for the unboxings that are coming please do subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss them thank you so much for being here as ever if you're not done with me yet i'm going to leave another video on the screen for you to enjoy thank you for being here thank you for always watching me please take care and i will see you again in the next one